I did one video um, where I, I had a cat daddy hat. It gets you the weird DMs, you know? It gets you the, ooh, hey daddy, ooh, I could use a daddy. And I was like, I immediately regret that decision. Welcome to Pop Dust Presents LA Edition. And we are here with Nathan the Cat Lady. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. And that's your Instagram handle. Yep, to Nathan the Cat Lady is, yeah, that's, yeah. that's my handle. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> want people to think that that was your given name. Yeah, no, no, my parents decided against that. It just my handle, so. <laughs> awesome, awesome, and thanks for stopping by. For sure, for sure. And you have four cats. I have four cats, yes. There's uh, Pickles, he's my only male, and then uh, Princess, Ginger, and Annie. Princess is technically my roommate's cat, but I've kind of adopted her into the group, you know? So she, she's she one of the guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't I tell mean, him that. But. I won't tell him that. <laughs> but like, I know, I know. Yeah, no. Most she has a special my, place in my heart. Like my so. friend's pets like me better. Oh, obviously, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So yeah, I got the, the four cats. I've um, had Pickles eight years now. Uh, Ginger, six years. I've had her five and she's six. And then uh, I've lived with Princess for three and a half now. And then Annie, I've had for four. So you make videos with your cats. I, I do. And they're funny. Oh, thank you. They're funny, they made me laugh. Yeah, it actually, it didn't start out as like a cat page. Uh, it originally was supposed to be uh, to help my acting because the industry's gotten to the point now where if you don't have a following, you can't book jobs. I went to the casting, I went to the audition, I got put on hold for it where they're like, yep, we want you. And then they said, can we see your Instagram? And I was like, I, I guess there's 700 people, you know, sent it in and I got released from the job the next day. So started doing some videos, you know, funny things. And then I just had a couple of videos where I was just like, hey, I'm gonna do a video with the cats. And they just, in one month, went viral. Kept going, kept doing the videos, and then uh, after about 25,000 followers, I was like, you know, I was like, maybe I should just embrace this. So I did one video um, where I, I had a cat daddy hat. It gets you the weird DMs, you know? It gets you the, ooh, hey daddy, ooh, I could use a daddy. And I was like, I immediately regret that decision. Yeah. So, so yeah, and then uh, two days later, I switched it to Nathan the Cat Lady, because people were already calling me a cat lady. You know, you're like, hey, it's the crazy cat lady. And I was like, you know what? I like it. People laugh immediately because I'm clearly not a, a lady, so it works out well. Yeah. So yeah, so I switched it, and within two months, my page doubled, and I was like, all right, people like the cat lady thing, so yeah. go, go with the cat lady. Go with the cat lady. Like there it. we go. So where are you from? Uh, originally, uh, Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, Colorado. Yep. Yeah. So I've been. Uh, I went from went from Colorado to New York first for the for the modeling game. Hated New York. I'm gonna be honest. No offense to New York. It's just not my cup of tea. It was just, it was too much. In Colorado, it's a very like laid back, friendly, everyone's yeah. nice. New York is like, I got something to do, get out of my way. And I just, I did not vibe with that. Colorado is awesome. I was there the first time last year. And I noticed that people were genuinely, sincerely nice. And I was like, what is this? It's confusing. It's it, it, weird. Because I've, and like I grew up in it, so I was used to it. And when it came out here, it got me into trouble. People would come up and they'd start a conversation with me. I'll give you a little fun story. I was at Target and this big old guy riding one of those little Segway scooter, you know, comes up the aisle and he looks at me and goes, God, I love Los Angeles. And these two girls go walking out of the aisle immediately. And I was like, oh, that was rude. And, I was, and he looks at me and goes, what about you? You love Los Angeles? And I was like, sure, so far. And he's like, oh, where are you from? And I'm like, okay, good. People are nice here. I like this. So we're talking about where I'm from. I'm, you know, 19, fresh off the boat. And then he goes, you never asked me why I love LA. And I was like, oh, you're right. Yeah. And he goes, come here. So, you know, I lean in. And he goes, Is that how you lean in? that's how, el elbows yeah. from Colorado, extra elbows. Yeah, okay. So I lean in and he goes, because where else can you look at sexy boys like you in a Target other than LA? <laughs> I had no response. I, I've never dealt with that before. And I just, oh, okay. And I grabbed my Fruity Pebbles or whatever I was getting and I walked out. Like I could not, it, it like blew my mind. And then after a couple of years, you get used to it. And then I went back to Colorado. I remember we had pizza delivered and the guy came up and he was like, wow, I love your, your, this porch here. Like, it's really nice. My wife and I are looking to get one done. I was like, what, do you want a bigger tip? What is this? And then we started talking. I was like, oh no, he's genuinely, that's right. We're in Colorado. He just wants to talk about porches right now because he's just a yeah. nice dude. So it's you got I got to switch mindsets depending on where I go. You uh, you've been doing some fundraising activities. Obviously, you know this is was originally to help my acting, but now that it's like it's grown, like I kind of want to make sure I'm using it to help out like cats actually get rescued. You know, I, I don't want it to just be like look at me, look at me. You know, there's a lot of people out there doing better things than me. 
you know, that are like rescuing cats or doing TNR and like, like it's amazing the people who do the rescues, like some of them are like barely making ends meet and still taking on fosters and stuff like that. So yeah, so I've been partnering up like um, Cat Cafe. Um, I, I met them uh, last year, super great over there. And so we started working together and I actually helped them build Tiny Beans, um, which is a three month kitten rescue pop-up in downtown LA. They needed a a bunch of handyman carpenter work done and they're like do you know anybody and I was like yeah I did that for two and a half years let's do this so I went and nice. built that for them and then um, they work with Stray Cat Alliance who also like provides their kittens so uh, just yesterday I went there because they're doing a fundraiser they're trying to raise seventy thousand dollars to rescue something like over a thousand kittens because oh, um, wow. there's just there's so many like wow. and it, it costs them like five hundred dollars a kitten to rescue these guys wow. so so I went there you know I'm just trying to help them and I've got um, the fur ball coming up in September and that's uh, with uh, Kitten Rescue LA um, I've been out there um, as well they put me in the kitten room and let like 30 kittens climb on me which is bucket list right I mean if you can like oh, like man. oh what would you like to do well, I'd like to lay on a floor and get covered in kittens today I mean it's, it's amazing yes. so yeah so I'm going to that event which I'm really excited about because yeah. that's I will note that in my book I'm like must get there oh absolutely <laughs> yeah no I mean it's kind of cool because the the kitten world is kind of like even CatCon this year, I did CatCon. I, I did two meetups. I didn't know there was a CatCon. Right? Whoa, whoa, mind blown. You, what is So this con? is your first time? Oh, man. Wait, okay, wait, we got some on. catching up to do. Oh, boy. There's a CatCon? There was a CatCon. Nobody told me about this. Who, who let you down? Who, I, who was it? Everybody. <laughs> I'm disappointed in everyone I know. Yeah, it was, uh, it was like two months ago. It was in Pasadena. And uh, I actually went as, I had two meetups. So, like, you know, I'd just go and stand at a table and people would come up and meet me, which was great. And then... They had a, a cat fashion show, the ferocious fashion face-off, <laughs> and I was the MC. So it was just all these people in these wacky, like, random cat outfits. Some people dressed like cats. One lady was a dominatrix cat. It's getting to the point where it it's not as embarrassing. You know, people are like, "Oh, I'm going to a you know, cat con," and people are like, "What now?" But now there's like there's celebrities it's, it's going cool up. Cool to be a cat lady. Yeah, I met uh, Seth Green, Macaulay Culkin were in the back room with me, like chilling, like. It's, yeah, it's getting to that point where people, Angela from The Office is actually a cat lady in real life. She was at CatCon oh, there. I love that. I know. It's, that makes me really happy to know. Exactly. I feel like we're, we're finally bonding. Or it's, it's officially okay to like cats. So did you grow up with um, cats? Or? I did. I grew yeah. up with uh, actually three cats and two dogs. Came out to LA and was strictly, I was like, I, I can't have pets. I'm too busy. I got stuff to do. And then um, old roommate of mine was like, hey, can I get a dog? And I was like, you are never home. You cannot get a dog. I was like, because I will end up walking your dog and feeding your dog. No. And he's like, all right, week later, can I get a cat? Fine, get a cat. So we got pickles. And then um, after a couple of months, it kind of, I was doing the litter boxes, feeding. And, you know, it got to the point where when I would leave to go for the day because I was busy, he would jump up and he would like catch my bracelet and meow because he was so yeah. like bored. And I was like, okay. So I was home and I was like, Let's buy a second cat. I will split it with you, and we'll have two cats. But it'll be your cats. That I just I'll, I will put the money so that he has a friend. So we got Ginger, and the two of them like immediately. I have a photo of them the first week they were together, literally sleeping, holding each other's faces together, like they were so happy. Two months later, my roommate was moving out, and I was like, "All right, you're gonna keep them together, right?" And he goes, "Um, I don't know. I might get rid of one of them. Ginger kind of sucks." And I was like no okay so I'm, I'm taking your cats and he was like oh okay well if you want them so i took them and then annie uh my ex her mom found her on the side of the road she was five weeks old and she picked her up and she bit through her thumb and had to get uh a shot there and so they're like yeah no one can touch her like so i went over there and i kind of coaxed her out and she climbed up into my hoodie and fell asleep in my shoulder and they're like, well, can you watch her until we get her a home? And I was like, all right, bring her home. And of course, Ginger goes, oh, this is mine now. And starts grooming her. And I was like, all right, let's go with three. You know, I already have two. What's a third? That's another one, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And then my roommate, when we moved in, he said, hey, can I get my cat for my ex? And I was like, you know what? After three, it doesn't even matter. You know, I'm, no. I've, I'm stereotyped. I'm in it. Let's go three. You know, let's go four. You know, yeah. so. Let's go five. Let's go six. six. Oh, man. Don't tempt me. You know, plug all your social media. Plug, okay, so Instagram is my big one. Uh, it's Nathan the Cat Lady. Um, I'm also on Facebook, Nathan the Cat Lady. Twitter, it's uh, Nathan the CL because they limit what you're allowed, so close enough. Um, and YouTube, there is a Nathan the Cat Lady YouTube. I'm progressing up to longer videos. It's 
because YouTube, you want longer videos. Like, I'll put some of my short ones up, but it, it's just hard because I'm a one-man band. Yeah. And so everything's tripod. Or every once in a while, my roommate will, you know, do a moving shot. But I feel for, like, YouTube, I need I need a, a crew. Things. I need a crew to make yeah. some longer videos. So that's, that's in the works. Um, I'm also getting ready to launch merchandise finally. Nice. So, yeah, we're going to have some, uh, some Team Pickles shirts, Team Annie. We've got uh, the cartoon um, of me with the cats is going to be on there. So, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, count me in. I yeah. want, I'll wear it. Heck, Clear, yeah. Clearly, oh, yeah. Clearly, you're here. all about yeah. it. I love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm building the site. I, again, one-man band, so I'm designing the merchandise. I'm building the website. So it's taking a little while, but we're, I, I feel like we're a week or two away. So. Yeah, no, you got this. Yeah, no, we got it. Cat ladies, you know, kind of run the world. Absolutely, and that'll be uh, NathanTheCatLady.com as well. So, so yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for stopping. Absolutely, by absolutely. This was fun. Us present. <laughs> All right, Nathan the Cat Lady. Mm -hmm.